have a sort of 100 to 1 pop on his back. And from there, he might be able to pinch a bit of a margin. 2, 11, 6 and 8. Man crush for me. Hopefully to lead and win from Frigid, the X Factor runner. Pompey, who trialled really nicely. And 8, Red 53. 2, 11, 6 and 8. 2, Man crush on top for Scott on the second line of betting at $4. Frigid is getting well back to you. 3.10 into $2.70. Punters are certainly happy to follow in the mayor back in the care of Michael Grantham here in the West again. Taylor Cortland, how did you see them from the yard ahead of the feature of today's program? Unfortunately, Lockie, I'm teaming up with Scott again. Number two man crush on top from the yard. Absolutely glowing in his coat. He's a big gross horse. Does carry a little bit of weight, but he's doing it really, really well out there today. And just frigid as you touched on that money move. She looks to have done enough work for this first up assignment. She left WA with a few quirks, but she paraded really, really positively. And is now into $2.60. So the punters are very, very keen to jump into Frigid upon return to the West. But our boys in the yard and Scott from a form perspective, they're both with Man Crush, who is on the second line of betting at $4. Hopefully it can lead all the way from Barrier 1 to salute in the feature of today's program. But they're joining the line well. So let's head upstairs to Darren McCauley for the call of the Nicopolis Stakes. Now here comes Red 53, about to join them. Pompeii they've taken a shine to. $8 into six before easing back out of point. 260 in from 310 though. Frigid, 420 into 370, back to four. Man crush. So in goes Red 53. Minsk moment. Pompeii to come forward and Frigid will in fact be the last of them here at the 1200 metre mark. Will Frigid find the 1200 a little too short? No trial. It'll be interesting to see how she goes back returning to WA. Now Frigid goes in. Willie Pike in the saddle. And Pompey about to complete the lineup. Feature event this afternoon, the Nicopola Stakes. Pompey peeps inside the gates, goes forward now. They've closed up the machine and they're ready to, ride, to run. Set to go, off. Parnham gave Man Crush a kick coming out of the gates and he sprung the stalls brilliantly. Coming across, Fanta's going to take him on for the lead though. Fanta's going to try and burn off Man Crush as they go up to the first corner. In behind those, Frigid settled up there nice and prominently from Super Session. Fanta's rolled to the lead. Rockinori three deep worked around the outside of Pompey. Then Catalpa back between horses down on the inside, son of a god. Karamundi's well back in the field. Likewise, Red 53 followed first the back Titan blinders and the tail ender is Minsk moment they come to the home turn 500 from the judge and Fanta led Parnham's about to come off the inside with man crush a length and a half to the grey frigid super session tracking up near the rail followed further back by Catalpa Rockinori Pompey the widest of them balancing up though and Fanta led down to the 250 in pursuit is man crush he has to get the shillelagh into the left hand at the 200 Fanta's in front man crush is cutting the margin man crush Crush Fanta, they've got the Nicopolis between them, but now Man Crush puts Fanta away, extends, draws clear, and home it goes, Man Crush. Man Crush beat Fanta. Third home, Frigid Catalpa at big odds might be fourth in from Super Session. Titan Blinders, Red 53 next in, followed by Pompey, who didn't fire. They were followed by Son of a God and Karamundi and Minsk Moment, and dropping right out to run last is Rockinori. Man Crush is the winner. Ridden by Chris Parnham. Number two, Man Crush, the son of Manhattan Rain. After being placed in the Bowfine, the Bolton, and the Newmarket, had a race today that looked absolutely tailor made for him. He was either going to lead or sit on Fanta. And Chris making sure that he was off the back of Fanta coming into the corner a matter of time before he took the pacemaker and they did finish well clear of Frigid and back their fourth home is the outsider in Catalpa.